your help. Families all over the country need your help to foster the mission of family prayers, especially the Holy Rosary. Contributions of rosaries, how to pray the rosary pamphlets are needed to continue the mission. Please send your donations and support to Father Patrick Payton's Family Rosary Crusade, Pope Pius XII Catholic Center, 1175 United Nations Avenue, Paco, 1007 Manila. po they're turning 400 years old. Ipagdiriwang nila ang kanilang quadricentennial celebrations sa taong 2011. Kung kaya, nandito po tayo upang tanungin how are the preparations coming along. Kasama natin ngayon ang walang iba kundi si Father Rector Rolando de la Rosa ng Dominican Order or Order of Teachers. Kamusta po kayo, Father? Kumuti po naman. Thank you for uh, giving us your time today. Thank you for featuring the university Apo. in your very popular TV show. <laughs> Thank you. So, ang tanong ko po ay sa 400 years, in span of 400 years, what has really changed or what has remained for this university? Uh, first of all, the name remained. No? <laughs> so, it's still University of Santo Tomas or UST. Uh, but practically everything has changed. Uh, first, the location. Before, the university was located in Intramuros. Oh, okay. uh, but in 1927, the Dominicans decided to buy this lot here in Sampalo, 23 hectares, and they built another campus. Uh, but during the Second World War, the original buildings in Intramuros were practically demolished, all of them. So the university, uh, the, this campus remained as the Seoul University campus. And this is where now we find the university. So that's the first change perhaps, mm -hmm. very obvious, the location. Second is the uh, fact that from a seminary college mm -hmm. with only around 10 to 20 students in the beginning, now it has grown into a university with 40,000 students as uh, at 40,000 students, 1,800 faculty members, uh, around uh, 400 doctors working in our two hospitals, and uh, a parish with around 200 parishioners, and a diocese, interdiocesan seminary with uh, around 150 seminarians from different dioceses of the country. I think the history of the Filipinos, uh, the, the history of the Philippines mm -hmm. and the history of the Catholic Church, uh, these are inseparable uh, from the uh, history of the University of Santo Tomas. Mm -hmm. Because practically all the uh, leaders of, uh, for instance, the leaders of the Philippine Revolution, the leaders of uh, the Philippine Church, the local church, the first priests, the first doctors, the first uh, uh, professionals in the country were all schooled from in the University of Santo Tomas. Uh, our national heroes, most of them are also graduates of the university. So uh, what I can say, perhaps if we want to summarize what is the greatest contribution of the university to the Philippine society and the Philippine church, uh, is the fact that it has produced alumni yes. or graduates that uh, have shaped mm -hmm. the, uh, the destiny of this country and of our church also. Okay. Harvard is preparing for its celebration, uh, quadricentennial celebration, uh, more than a decade from now. And yet wow. now, two years from now, U.S. will be celebrating its 400th anniversary yeah. of establishment. Right. Now, in our uh, university hymn, mm -hmm. the last phrase says that USD is imbued with unending grace. No? Uh, the fact that the university lasted this long, mm -hmm. I think uh, by itself it's already a reflection that God continues to nurture it with His love. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fact also that in the main building of the university, uh, we have the, in the town, in the, I mean, on top of the tower is a blue cross no? yes, that symbolizes uh, God's sacrificial love for all humanity. So the mission vision of the university 
is actually defined by the fact that uh, it wants to share God's love to others through the teachings of uh, the Catholic doctrine and at the same time molding people who will be imbued with God's I think one thing that we can be very proud of is mm -hmm. UST is a very Marian university, you know. Uh, we have rosary uh, months, I mean we, we pray the rosary, we pray the angelus. Mm -hmm. Our students have uh, annual recollections and that's obligatory for all. Faculty members also undergo uh, mm -hmm. recollections, retreats uh, given by the Dominican priests and some other religious or even diocesan priests. And uh, family life is also emphasized here because uh, in, in this university because all our students are encouraged to, uh, to become good family members and uh, to develop a sense of belonging uh, to, to the church and to their own families. Planning to hold several uh, I mean, uh, events yes. that would highlight the celebration like uh, the Quadricentennial Mass mm -hmm. in 2011 hopefully by January of 2011. So a lot of people are expected not to or, uh, all We are inviting all our alumni. <laughs> in fact, we were already informed by our alumni in the United States, mostly medical doctors, no? okay. that they will not hold their reunion in the States in 2010 because they would prepare for the their coming here in the university in 2011. Okay. And uh, during the uh, reunion, the grand reunion, will have a quadricentennial mass mm. which hopefully will be presided uh, by our uh, beloved Pope uh, wow. Benedict, you know. So we already sent invitations to him okay. through the CBCP and the Papal Nuncio, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we haven't re received a reply yet <laughs> from the Vatican. <laughs> from the Vatican. Okay. But I hope he would honor our invitation because after all this is a one of the only, I think, two pontifical universities mm -hmm. in Asia right. and one of the very few, uh, 15 pontifical universities all over the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, being pontifical, it bears the, uh, the title of, uh, I mean, uh, it bears the, uh, or it represents the Pope, no? Yes. So, we are stubbornly loyal to the papacy and the uh, Catholic Church. So, uh, and that's why every time a Pope comes to the Philippines, mm -hmm. he really uh, sees to it that he passes that's by right. the university. You know. Okay, so we're really looking forward to uh, yeah, the celebration. So, <laughs> that's for the Centennial Mass. Yes. Then we also have the Medical Mission 400, mm -hmm. so okay. which will start uh, this year. So we will begin the countdown. So we will conduct uh, 400 medical missions. Uh, starting today? Starting this year. Oh, this year. Uh, with the help of, uh, we partnered with Gawad Kalinga. Mm, that's nice. So Gawad Kalinga has uh, invited us to be their uh, health arm. Right. Kasi meron silang uh, arm naman for building, building houses. houses. Right. Kami naman yung magbi-medical mission mm -hmm. for, for all these uh, poor people whom they are helping. Okay. Tapos uh, marami pang iba. <laughs> Pero uh, yun, yun pa lang po eh, medyo excited na kami. Mm. No, the, I hope the Pope really comes, you know, yes, uh, celebrate that, that Mass. Uh, and, uh, Father, before we, I, I know marami pa kuming gustong itanong sa inyo, ano, pero wala na po tayong time. So, before we go, would you like to give any parting words to our televiewers? Well, uh, I invite all of you, especially our Tomasian alumni everywhere, uh, those who are watching this uh, popular TV show, please come to the university in 2011 and be part of our celebration. You are part and parcel of the university's uh, life and uh, you, can, you have enriched it by your presence in our university. No matter how, uh, how short your, your stay here, you are part of the university's glory. So please be here during the time. Thank you so much, Father Rector de la Rosa. And thank you also, for, for sharing with us the preparations you for the centennial, for the quadricentennial celebration.